I'm Margaret. And I'm James. And we're here to talk about tornadoes. All right, so first things first, how do tornadoes form and what are they? So a tornado is a very violent rotating column of air that usually forms in thunderstorms. Uh, you see them a lot in the Midwest, and you can actually find them pretty much all over the world in the right conditions. So how do they form? Well, tornadoes, as I said, they form in violent thunderstorms. And when a storm, when a storm front moves through the area, you get a draft of air following the storm that starts to pick up speed. And this, this wind coming in behind, if the uh, storm is violent enough and there's enough instability in the atmosphere, meaning that there's a uh, large difference between the warm and the cold air, uh, those winds following the storm can start to spin. And when they start to spin, that's called a mesocyclone. And uh, this isn't a tornado yet, because this is essentially what you could call it is a very mild sideways tornado, if you want. And so these sideways rotating columns of air, if there's enough instability in the atmosphere, they can get sucked up. And when this happens, the, uh, the column of air goes from horizontal to vertical. And when that happens, the winds get strong enough that you get a tornado. So where does this happen? In the US, there is this part of the US that's called Tornado Alley right here. And this happens right here because there's the cold um, continental air coming down from Canada and the warm, moist air coming up from the Gulf. And these two air masses collide and form the conditions that are optimal for a tornado. All right, and so you've probably often heard of like F2s and F3s and maybe even F5 tornadoes. And these are the classifications of tornadoes. They go all the way from F0s to F5s, um, F5 being the most violent of tornadoes. And so the way they're scaled is usually based on wind speeds and damages. So an F0 is about like 40 to 72 miles per hour. And as you get up to F1s and F2s, the wind speeds get bigger, uh, the tornado diameter increases, and the damage gets more intense, all the way to an F5, which can have over 300 mile an hour winds. And these tornadoes can be truly devastating. Hi guys, I'm Wyatt, and I'm here to present some fun facts. Here's one. Water spouts are tornadoes that form over water, and around the world, uh, tornadoes can be referred to as cyclones or twisters. Um, the tri-state tornado is the deadliest in U.S. history, and it killed 695 people. Um, and I'm going to tell you how to survive a tornado. So, first thing you got to do is seek shelter immediately. The next is stay away from windows. If you get too much broken glass near you, it can cause severe injury. Next, you can wear a helmet, go to the basement, and most importantly, do not try to outrun the tornado. Tornadoes are really fast. They will get you. I guarantee that. So, how do tornado warnings work? Um, so, there are storm prediction centers, especially in the tornado alley that will give alarms only a couple minutes before tornadoes strike. Um, when a tornado is spotted, uh, people will call the National Weather Service and report it in. And then ra sirens are sounded around the town and radio and TV immediately switches toward tornado warning show. All right. All right, so next we have our demonstration. So uh, someone could get that going. Margaret. Just a second while we get this going. So first, first we have, do you have to exit and go to the All right, with a little, with, uh. first we have a, uh, an animation, and this is something I created to demonstrate uh, in a more visual sense how we uh, created our tornado machine in a sense. Uh, because mm -hmm. we couldn't bring the tornado machine in here, this is what it's going to have to do. So this is what it looks like. Um, essentially what you have, you can see the five columns um, along the outside of the tornado. Each of these blow wind uh, horizontally around it, creating uh, a rotating pattern. And at the top is a fan pulling upwards. And so these are the two factors that you need for hurricanes, um, I'm sorry, for tornadoes. You need the rotating winds and you need the upward draft. And when you combine the two of these, you get a tornado, as you can see there. And so, finally, Margaret can get it together. Got him. We have, this is the tornado machine that we created. It's really neat if you can <laughs> it's see really it. It's really cool. We worked very hard on it. 
and, and if, it's, if it's right there. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's right there. Um, so we just kind of followed the model that we created in the 3D graphics program and generated this, which worked very well, and Weatherfest went great. It was a blast. It was. Yeah, so I'm Weatherman Sips. <laughs> I'm Wyatt Hickman. I'm Margaret Hedeman. Signing off. And those are very Thank lame Thank you for names. watching.